they say the stuff has finally hit the fan. Um, let's start off by saying this. Uh, there's this whole thing ever since I was growing up, since I know. There's always this thing with uh, black people in America, especially like, well, if I was back in time of slavery, they wouldn't have been doing that to me. And, and they always say the kind of things, you know, or, or how, if I would live long, they would kill me, or, or I wouldn't, you know, all that stuff. Okay, what's happening now? And then you do know slavery has never ended, at least for, for black people. We've always been a slave to the, let's call it a slave to the system, right? And we were brought over here to uh, build up the system, to um, perpetuate the system, and be, be the father for the system. And uh, right now it's kind of interesting because the system now has a lot of, the systems has a lot of branches. One of the branches is sports, right? There's an opportunity, this, as I record this, this is like a, the middle of October, uh, uh, it's, uh, which means it's, um, um, well, yeah, I guess it's the middle of football season, NFL, National Football League, talk about American football, and uh, because of uh, a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago, Colin Kaepernick started his, his, um, his outspokenness about uh, police brutality and started to take a knee. Um, well, first he sat and started to take a knee uh, to to, uh, to draw attention to uh, um, uh, law enforcement law enforcement um, uh, injustices. Okay, so this thing has spiraled now, and they try to nice or like the system does, they try to dilute the message, to try to to take the message off point, you know, make it about something else. Now it's about the national anthem and it's not all that sort of stuff. You know, I did a I did a uh, thing about that uh, and saying that we should change the national anthem to America beautiful anyway, but we won't get into that right now. Anyway, we have an opportunity, or well, not we, but the, the 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 football players of specifically the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Texas team uh, have an opportunity to stand up against, you know, injustice or against against slavery, uh, because the owner of the team says that anybody who 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 who, who takes a knee or sits down or doesn't respect doesn't stand in respect of the flag and the national anthem, which had nothing to do with Calvin Kaepernick's name, anyway, that they won't be they won't play that day. Well. I'm not a football player. I've never been a lot of flag football, but I've never been a football player. Did a little track in high school, but that's over there. I'm not really a sports person. But I would say this. This is an opportunity. You want a plantation? This is an opportunity for all them brothers, not only on the, on the Cowboys. Who, who are the Cowboys playing this week? I think they're playing uh, the 49ers. Strangely enough, San Francisco 49ers, which Cowboy Company comes from. Uh, uh, they have an opportunity to all everybody take a knee. All everybody, white, black, whatever, happy. And if and if, if Jerry Jones says they're not going to play, they call his bluff because they, they, those people they worship money. And so what's happening right now is that if they don't play, Dallas Cowboys lose a lot of money. And all them judges that that that, 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 that Jerry Jones has paid off, all the policies, all the people he's paid off, all the collusion with the other owners, it starts to collapse because then they all. All the slaves at one time said, we ain't picking no more cotton. And you know what happens? If the cotton wasn't picked, that means that we could, they couldn't put, take that cotton to, to, to England, to the northern states, to make whatever they make and make money. So that's the trick. That's what they have to do. All right, brothers, stand tall. You slaves, stop picking the cotton, and the system will fall. I guarantee you. Me. Me guarantee you. That's me. T for the passengers taking the trains to bed. Let you know what I only suspect.